Welcome to my channel, Amy Makes That. Today is the long-awaited video on everything that I DIY'd for my wedding. Now, some of the wedding decor tutorials are already on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to make one big video on literally everything I made because I made 90% of the wedding decor that I had at my wedding, and I don't really know anyone else that has done something like this, so I will include some tips in this video and just go through all of the wedding decor that I have. All of the products that I made mentioned in today's video, all of the decor that I used will be linked in the video description. There's going to be a lot of them and I will try to categorize them as much as I can. The vibe of my wedding was bohemian, a lot of neutrals, and pompous grass. Now I know this might not be everyone's taste, so if you don't have anything nice to say, please don't say it at all. If you don't want to go for the vibe that I was exactly going for with my wedding, I hope you can at least take away some of the DIYs that I made and use them for your wedding and for your theme colors, palette, etc. And I need to give a huge thank you to the photographers and videographers at Earth and Sun Co. And by now the wedding video should be posted, so I will put that in the video description as well, and I will show some clips throughout um, the video. Okay, I covered everything. Um, if you haven't noticed by now, I have my laptop here because I have all of the wedding decor listed out on my laptop. And one thing I highly suggest if you are making all of your decor and bringing it to the wedding venue is to make a list for yourself and then for them. So make one list but make two copies. So as you're packing everything, you can check everything off and then the wedding venue also has a checklist. I had pictures of everything, how I wanted it to look and categorized by ceremony, reception, table decor, centerpieces. So definitely do that for your wedding venue if they are the ones that are setting it up for you. The venue was the Pavilion on Crystal Lake located in Connecticut. So the first thing that I made for my wedding was technically my bridesmaid proposal boxes. This is the most popular pin on my Pinterest. I do not have a tutorial on how I made them, but I do have a blog post that goes into how I made everything from scratch. So that blog post will also be listed in the video description. This really set the vibe for what I was going for with our wedding. I added the little bunny tails on top, made everything kind of neutral colored. I kept it very simple and that's how everything else went. The next thing that I DIY wide and made for our wedding were the invitations. I don't think you guys are gonna believe how much I spent on my invitations. I know people that have spent over a grand easily. I spent a little under $300 for making my wedding invitations. And here's how I did it. I made everything and printed everything on Canva. If you guys do not know what Canva is, I have explained Canva and how I use it with Cricut. It's kind of like a design software. So usually you will have about three to five pieces of paper that is included in your wedding invitation. I had four. The first was obviously the invitation that showed the very pretty Amy and Alex welcome you to their marriage on the date, the location, and then I had a details card that explained everything further. It explained the hotel block situation, transportation, we provided shuttles to and from the hotel that night. I also did the non-traditional RSVP. I added a QR code for people to respond to the wedding, which I thought was really cool. It was connected to my wedding website on Zola and then our venue also required the guests to choose their meal up hand because they needed to know how much food to make. Not all venues do this so if you don't have to do this it's one less card for you and also if you want I can make some kind of template for you all um, to purchase for like, I don't know, like a dollar, two dollars. If you wanted the exact same invitation that I did, if you don't want to make it, just let me know in the comments because I would love to help you guys out as much as I can with your wedding. And then I printed the envelopes at home. I have a tutorial, so I will link that video in the cards for you here. And then to add a little bit more pizzazz to the wedding invitations, I decided to add wax seals to them. I had handmade ribbon around them and then pre-pressed the wax with flowers in them. For someone who had no idea how to wax seal, it was actually really fun. I have some IG reels on how I did that. It was a lot to prep, so make sure that you do set enough time. And that goes for all of your decor as well. I started making my decorations a year out. If I did this all last minute, it would have never happened. Give yourself more time rather than less because you have so much to do on top of making your decor. When it comes to your wedding, try and 
make the decor as easy as you can by planning ahead and doing everything as early as you can. So now we can talk about the flowers. I saved so much money doing my own flowers. This is the bouquet. I ultimately added some pompous grass here. This is like fake ruscus, I think, Italian ruscus. Some baby's breath. This was from a floral. A floral had the best artificial flowers. And then I got these flowers. They're technically solo wood flowers. And then these palm leaves were from a floral as well. I not only saved a lot on these flowers because they were inexpensive for me to make, but I now have pompous grass all over my home. So that's another tip to follow. Get wedding decor that you can use for your home. I want to say that I spent probably around a grand, one grand um, on flowers completely, and I had a lot left over. I didn't need to buy that much baby's breath. And then I also added the handmade ribbon, and then for my bouquet, I added my mom's pendant on there. I got it from Amazon, the copper photo holder, and then I printed out her photo at like Walgreens and printed it out myself. Typically the bride's bouquet is a little bit more fuller just so it like stands out more but I just added more like pompous grass more like palm leaves and all of that this is another tutorial on YouTube I made the ring box that I had I was able to just heat press that with my mini heat press and I did an M on top of that so those were the bouquets and now we can move on to the boutonnieres with the help of my husband he helped so much with making the boutonnieres for this it was really easy we did an assortment of bunny tails some light and dark the Italian ruscus and I think a little bit of baby's breath. I got ribbon from Michael's or Joanne's, I can't remember, but it was like a cream satin ribbon and I just wrapped that around. Sorry, let me backtrack. Before that, I had flower tape that I wrapped around so it kind of taped together and then I completely sealed it with the satin and wrapped that around as well. And those boutonniere pins, like the long white ones that I found, they were from Michael's. My husband's boutonniere was a little bit fuller. I think he did a mixture of like the light and dark more and then the guys were just like two or three like bunny tails. The next decor piece were my centerpieces. I really wanted something different rather than just a bouquet of flowers on every table. I did an assortment that I really loved how it came out. This was probably the most expensive part because I had to get a lot of different pieces. The gold candlesticks, the fake tapered candles because my venue didn't allow flames, so we had to get the batteries for that, all of the fake ones. I got cheesecloth underneath to kind of make it look more put together. The table numbers I did not make myself. I will again link that in the video description and then I did an assortment of three vases so the gold candlesticks that I got came in three different heights all of the vases that I got were kind of the same height but I made the flowers a little bit leveled so you'll see that one of the vases I have like a tall piece of pompous grass a palm leaf and I think some like solo wood flowers and then I have a little bit lower vase it's like a bottle vase but it's just filled with bunny tails which was really easy to put together and then the other one was an assortment of light and dark baby's breath and then to add on to the table settings, I did print out some menu cards from Canva. People did pick their food, of course, beforehand. People also didn't know what the appetizer was, what the dessert was, so I wanted to put food options on there just in case someone like accidentally chose the wrong one and wanted to know what it was. Next is the ceremony decor. I didn't want anything on the aisles. I didn't want it to be too crazy. I just wanted the area where my husband and I were to feel very whimsical and magical. And that's exactly how it came out. I got an assortment of lanterns from all over. I just went into every store possible. I looked on Facebook Marketplace and you should have seen me with the pompous grass. Every time I got pompous delivered to the house, I was violently shaking them outside. Pompous was everywhere. My neighbors probably thought I was insane. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes for weddings. Oh, and then I also had the rugs underneath from Ikea. I got two and I overlapped them. They were, I think, $15 each. Then right as you were walking into the ceremony area, I had two different sides of decor. My camera died, so I'm finishing the rest of the ceremony decor via voiceover. Right before you walked into the ceremony area, I had our welcome sign on the right hand side. I made this design in Canva and then got it printed on poster board at gotprint.com. That website is such a hidden gem because it was half the price to get it printed there versus getting it printed at a store like Staples or FedEx, so I highly suggest that website. Then we added some flowers on the top using a small foam box. I cut the pompous grass a little bit shorter, the solo wood flowers, and stuck them right in the foam, which was really easy to do. I also added a piece of cheesecloth underneath the poster board, and the stand was from an Etsy shop, but it broke right after the ceremony, so I'm not 
going to link that because I don't want that happening to you guys. Then on the left hand side, I added some wood crates that I hand stained and a mirror with the lyrics from our first dance song, which was Long Haul by Ian Munsick. I really liked this piece of decor um, because I was able to repurpose it again and it's now in my home in front of my vanity. For the ceremony decor, this had to have been my favorite piece that I DIY'd and they were in memorial banners for both my husband and I's mothers. I bought the linen fabric from another place I want to say Etsy but that will be linked in the video description and then I went to Joanne Fabrics because I know that they do cut fabric there and then I added two gold frames and put pictures of our moms inside and then we placed them in the front row seats on each side. The next DIY decorations were for our sweetheart table at the reception. We repurposed those lantern turns from the ceremony and pompous right in front and to the side of the table and then put four small vases of assorted flowers on each side. This was also the very last thing that I did with my flowers because I said if I have any extra flowers left over it's meant to be and I will put them in vases and we'll add them to the sweetheart table and luckily I had plenty so it really worked out. And now this is where I stop because the rest will be continued on the camera. Sorry my camera stopped recording. So you guys know my wood moon seat deck Decor. This is in a YouTube tutorial with some other Cricut wedding projects. And then in the background, I had the I love you to the moon and back. I was supposed to heat press the sign, but I just didn't have time. So I did buy them from a website that I will include in the video description. But I left a lot of room on the bottom because you'll see in like one of the photos, our heads technically cover it. So that's something to keep in mind. You have to make sure that the height of whatever you're hanging the sheet on is tall enough and it's not too low. I also spray painted that gold arch technically. It was from Ikea. The next decorations that I made for my wedding were the bar signage. If you guys follow me on Instagram, this is how I believe that I blew up so fast on there because I posted a reel of me making the bar signs. I do want to add like a little note here because not many people understand this concept. But when you have signature drinks, you can name them whatever you want. The bride, the groom, the hers, the his, the Amy, the Alex, and some people unfortunately thought that I gendered the drinks. Like I said in the comments, I could have labeled the drink the bride. Doesn't mean the bride just has to drink. It just means that her favorite, my favorite, is the cucumber vodka soda. And his favorite, the groom's drink, is Jamo and Ginger. But other than that, everything came out great. I put vinyl on these signs and I painted the back with acrylic. Shout out to my friend Vincent, handmade by Vincent Ferrari. He's the one that made the acrylic arch sign for me. And then I did get the mini signs from Etsy and applied copper vinyl to them. And then I also had leftover linen, so I did heat press that with some HGV. I put a little cute thing over the bar. It says, trust me, you could dance alcohol. <laughs> now we're onto the lawn outside decor. We did have our wedding in August since our wedding was on the lake. I wanted some kind of outside activity for people during cocktail hour, during the middle of the night. I made the cornhole boards, which again is a YouTube video. And the cutest touch to them were the personalized bean bags. I got those from an Etsy shop and you could have customized them to anything you want. I just put our date and our initials. Okay, next is seating chart. This was a true DIY because I got the photo, it was technically a photo frame from Facebook Marketplace for like $30. And I sanded, stained it, painted it, and then I got some handmade paper and some wrapped in and I added everyone's names on there. I did print the names of our guests on our printer at home and that worked out great. I highly suggest getting extra pieces of paper just in case. And people also highly suggested for seating charts to do them alphabetically, so that's what I did. And, and the same thing goes for like table numbers as well. I love the pretty script like table one, like if it's written out, but people have a hard time finding that. You want people to find their name and find their seat immediately because people get a little annoyed at that. And I noticed that as like going to a lot of wedding venues and you don't notice these things until you actually are planning your own wedding and you're like, oh, I notice all these things now because I'm planning my own wedding. The last main area that I had decor was the hallway table. This was an area that people immediately saw when they walked into the venue. I got my cards and gifts signed from Alexis at Rowan and Oak. I met up with her. She's also a fellow Long Islander. There were some things I was like, yes, I'm going to DIY there's some things that I was like, I don't have time for, let me just 
pay someone and get something for it. The McKeel sign was actually from our engagement party. I made a big flower wall with my maid of honor and I got the McKeel's wood cut out. So now I have that in our home, which is really cool. I had a macrame runner from our home that I was like, oh, this would be cute for our wedding. The wedding vendor also found like extra lanterns. She did a really great job of like propping those up with like the wood crates. And of course you guys know the mailbox. I added some photo frames. And then my favorite thing that I made were my my favors. The one thing that I knew and read about was that favors are the most like wasted thing that people spend on if they're not food, if they're not alcohol. I ended up making I think 40 extra and I put them in the basket just to put them in there. All of the favors were gone. So if you're looking for a very easy thing to do for your favors, do a lot of scratch offs. I printed them out at home and then we got pennies and scratch offs from our local 7-Eleven. The guy at 7-Eleven was like, I've never seen someone buy this many scratch offs before and now I want to share some of the other decor and details that I had from my wedding So I did make a leather jacket decal that is a YouTube tutorial here on my channel And the pictures we had at the end of the night in front of our photo booth was so cool And yes, that VW bus is a photo booth I wanted a very unique photo booth and all of my guests loved it I also made a Mrs. Hanger for holding the wedding dress on the day of the cake topper I did not make I wish I could give credit for that, but I bought it from a shop on Etsy. I probably could have made it if I really wanted to, but again, these were just one of those things that I just didn't have time for. And it looked like a moon because the pompous grass was kind of like in a C shape, so it was, it was really cute. I also got a lot of questions about the bags that I made for my bridesmaids for the day of. I did pay for their hair and makeup as a part of their gift, and then I just gave them small little bags of like very little things that they actually needed. And then in the bags, I included their PJs for the day of, some flip-flops for their feet at night when they're tired of wearing the heels, and then I think I had little things like bobby pins, tied to go, and it also included the thank you cards that I made. This was the first time I actually made a card with my Cricut. This is another tutorial on my channel. The one thing that I do not have a picture of was the hotel bags that we made. I didn't make anything with the Cricut. I just made a little tag that said welcome to our wedding on Canva, and then I printed them out with like computer paper and cut them out myself, and then I hole punched them and wrapped them around the bags but the bags were like brown cardstock bags from Amazon and then we included these little hangover kits. I put the Alex and Amy sticker on them which I really loved doing and that included like some Purell, Advil, hangover things and then I added other things in the bags like chips, waters, just little snacks for everyone just thanking them for coming to our special day and then I did also have another paper that included like just the main wedding details and again just reiterated the wedding address and all of that. That was also also printed from Canva and super easy to do. And now we can talk about the non-decor things, which was the hair and makeup and my dress. Hair and makeup absolutely killed it. I loved the women from Transcendent. They did the most natural looking makeup, which I loved so much. And hair with my braid and the baby's breath in there. I was nervous about keeping my hair down because my hair drops super easily when you curl it and the braid was like the most perfect thing because it was also out of my face. I didn't have to like touch it up at the end of the night. It was just easy to maintain and a few people did ask about my dress. I did get it from a local place near me in Long Island but it is an essence of Australia dress. This is the first dress I tried on and I was like Lexi, I don't want to wear any other dresses. When can we buy this? The bridesmaids also got their dresses from David's Bridal and the shoes were Dolce Vita. I think that covers everything for all of the projects and details about my wedding. It really felt like my Pinterest board just like threw up and everything came to life. My camera's about to die. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button to see more Cricut tutorials. And if you want more wedding videos, just let me know. I hope this video helps all of the brides and grooms out there that are looking to make everything and anything for their decor. I really don't know what else to say, but I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye!